So Wheeler Yuta and Daniel Garcia in uh, in a pure rules match for the Ring of Honor Pure Championship. If, compared to other pure rules match, I felt like this one was a little messier than I would have liked to see. It wasn't messier. I felt like it was short. I don't know. There was something about this match that just didn't... It, it, I mean, I understand, like, the rivalry going into it was pretty good. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and, and the match itself was fine. It just... It, something fell off, I guess. You think so? I mean, yeah. the thing is, is that with pure rules matches, sometimes they feel out of place in right. a card. They might be really good. This one was a very good pure rules match mm-hmm. in general. I just felt like they kind of... I, I don't know. I feel like the rules were, were not... Uh, they they were the thing was is that there wasn't enough there to be tangible with to right. fully explain how a pure rules match works. Right. They barely went to the ropes. There were barely wor- rope breaks. There were barely right. exactly like, um, transitions to the closed fist. And I think it's because they wanted to ke- keep the phonetic pace right. of a pure rules match. Right. And I think in a way they succeeded at that. But they but they should have they should have been a little more upfront with the rules. When, yeah, with the rules, and and that's what now, now they killed it for they, me. They, they had to the past they, they had they had the time limits. Right. They had the um, they they had like the little rope break things, but I think like one rope break happened. Right. If you wanted to showcase, because this is a death before dishonor show, under the ring of right. or under the AEW banner, full full, right. not like oh I just bought the company and we're doing it. This right. was like full blown. Let's do this. And I think if they wanted to do something like this, you needed to construct this to where right. the pure rules match was the focal point right. other than like the competitors. I understand why they did it, but mm-hmm. at the same time I think it hurt the match and the uh the, the dignity right. of pure rules and, more and, than anything. And, and I think that's what I would make it majest again is if they were a little more upfront and had a little bit more uh you know sway in, in how the rules were set and, and and how they should emphasize like, oh, this person now doesn't have any rope breaks left, for example. Like exactly. Those types of things. Yeah, no, like, that makes like, sense. That is the only thing, and that's why I'm only gonna that's why I'm only gonna give it a thumbs up. Because yeah. the match itself was fine. It's just the rules themselves were not. It just explained it just well. it just it just felt like a regular it did, match. It didn't feel like a pure rules exactly. match. Exactly. Maybe just a little more emphasis on those rules, have more yeah. rope breaks, have like, oh, he because it's a pure rules match, he got to the ropes, yep. but you can't break the ropes. Yeah. Like, that's what happened there. Yeah. But anyway, um, Wheeler Yuta did win this match with a roll-up, which I thought was good. I thought it was a very good match overall, yeah. but once again, more emphasis on those rules. Yeah. 